Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Night Five. I'm the Reverend Joseph Hine, and I'm happy that we've gathered together tonight. Tonight, I want to talk to you about waiting, because we sure are doing a lot of waiting, waiting around these days. And waiting is hard for us because we wait for things very concrete, something that we specifically wish to have. For instance, a lot of us are waiting to go back to work. I'm so delighted that I can come every day here. It gives me some type of routine, but so many people are working from home. They have fewer hours, so they're waiting. Some of us are waiting for the stimulus check. Others are waiting for the baseball season to begin. When's it going to begin? And we all wish that the pain of this time and the anxiety of this time would go away. We're full of wishes, and those wishes get entangled in our waiting. Our waiting becomes actually kind of a way that we control the future. We want the future to go in a very specific direction. And if it doesn't happen the way we want, we get disappointed and sometimes uh, we get depressed about it. So tonight I want to talk to you about Luke chapter 1, where we have the beautiful story of Zechariah, Elizabeth, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Uh, the women are pregnant. The time is pregnant. A great thing is happening, and the women are full of hope. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. An angel says to Zechariah, Elizabeth's husband, your wife, Elizabeth, is going to bear you a son, in chapter 1, verse 13. Mary, too, in verse 131 in Luke, has promised that she, too, will bear a son, and we know, of course, that that's the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Mary and Elizabeth were full of hope, and that's what makes that chapter so beautiful. They're so full of hope, and hope is something very different than our wishes. Hope is trusting that something will be fulfilled, but fulfilled according to God's promises. To wait open-endedly in this life is a beautiful spiritual thing. Open-ended waiting is waiting on God, trusting that something's going to happen to us far beyond our wishes and our imagination. The thing is, we don't know what it's going to be. But we have to wait in confidence that God is going to speak to us. He'll send an angel, either human or divine, to us to tell us what's going to happen. We might have a dream. We might have a vision. God will come to us and let us know what it is that he has for us. So, waiting in hope is trusting that God is going to mold us according to his love and his plans for our life. Things are obviously far from perfect in our life right now. Nothing's normal. Everything is up in the air. But God is working in the invisible realm. He's working in the spiritual realm, preparing a happiness in the future that he has just in store for us. I have to say, a lot of us are negative Nellies in my experience. We're not going to be happy until this gets done, until our bills are paid, until we get into that bigger house. We're not going to be happy. But as Christian people, we shouldn't live in that way. We shouldn't make that mistake. We should enjoy our life right where we are, even in the midst of this terrible time. Maybe you have some big obstacles in your path right now, but being discouraged just isn't going to make anything better. You need to realize that God is in control of your life. God is in control of the universe, and even down at the micro level, he's in charge of your life. He's directing your steps, and he's got you right where he wants you. We may not understand God's purposes right now, but our challenge in challenging times is to wait in hope, to be patient, knowing that God understands our life, sees our life, and he's preparing things in the invisible realm, in the spiritual realm, that are going to be in our best interest, and we're going to come out better for all the waiting that we do. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we give thanks to you and praise you for your goodness. Lord God, help us to be more patient. Help us to wait and hope an act of waiting, God, that you're acting in the invisible realm, in the spiritual realm, preparing our future. 
Help us to trust that, God. You know us better than ourselves, and your goodness surrounds us every minute of every day. And we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's nice to see you all, and I'll see you Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Have a good week.